my YouTube uh, pipe miner here. Yeah, I'm still alive, still around. <laughs> Just haven't had much going on. The weather has been uncooperative and keeping you, keeping me from going out and working on pipes or anything else, really. So, I uh, thought I'd jump on. I've got a uh, trade deal that we worked out with John Laughlin. I know some of the stuff that's in the box, but I'm sure there's some other stuff that I, will be a surprise. And the other thing is I finally, the weather cooperated enough that I could go out and finish off the first pipe for this year. It's a, uh, well, it's a freehand shape. Let's see if I can get it to actually catch some light. Um, I drilled it like I do all my others, you know, with the drill press and whatever else. So it's not really a true freehand because I didn't freehand drill it. But the shaping and all that was done freehand. So, so got that's the first one of this year, and it is a sitter. It's just sits, <laughs> but it is a sitter. Um, I've got been scheming in my head the whole time you know because too cold to be out working on pipes so you know coming up with ideas for new pipes and whatever else so I've got many of them yeah, planned just haven't started on them yet so now that that one's done I'll start on the next one <laughs> but anyway John and I worked out a, a trade we had, I've had some stuff that he wanted to get and he had some stuff that I wanted to get and so, you know, mutually beneficial. But uh, I knew. Okay, this will be what I knew. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, this is one that I wanted to try. Well, I got a sample of from Jeremy. But uh, I traded traded him for this. It's former's 50th anniversary. And it's an English blend, but it's basically just, well, this one is Syrian Latakia and Virginia. That's all there is in it. And uh, having one sample of it, man, I'd, I wanted to get a hold of some more, so John happened to come across a whole batch of it. Well, enough that he had one he'd be willing to trade. So he just sent me that, and I'll send him one that I've got that he wanted. So, oh. Oh, and this, oh yeah, that's a little bit of Peace Haven that I honestly think I could probably, if that was the only Esoterica blend I could get a hold of, I probably would be okay with it. I like Stonehaven, but that Peace Haven is just outstanding. And oh my. <laughs> okay. I knew about a couple of these. What else is he? Oh. Okay. Alright. This. Oh, this is the. Okay. He turned me on to the Tabernacle cigars. Well, this is the Cu Cuban Seed Tabernacle. I really like the regular t tabernacles, so I'm expecting this will be a good one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to that. Oh, here's one of the El Valences, which is another one from uh, uh, Foundation Cigars. It's, uh, well... For those that don't know, Nick Malilo is the guy that started Foundation Cigars. He was the master blender at uh, Drew Estate when they did the Liga Provada 9. And uh, I really like that cigar. And so far, I have tried two of his other Foundation Cigars and like both of those really well. So I expect I'm going to continue liking those. There is one that I've been wanting to try. It's a Herrera Esteli. Uh, another one from, well, it's from Drew Estate. 
but uh, you know this uh, <laughs> Herrera is the guy at the blender oh and here's one of those uh, yellow elephants that is from the there's a local shop down there in St. Louis that has these blended for them oh wow I'm gonna have to plan accordingly for that one that's like a Good God, that's a Churchill. That's a big cigar there. Man. Mmm. Smells really good. They all smell really good. But yeah, I just, you know, I'd been trying to figure out what to do for a video. I hadn't been on for, when I was looking earlier, I think it's been two months. And, you know, it's, sometimes I have things to put up, and if I don't, I just you know, figure out, oh, I'll put something up when I've got something to say. <laughs> so now that I finished the pipe and had this trade deal, I had something to put on. And, you know, the whole time I keep picking up new subscribers. I don't know how, but, you know, I appreciate it. I, it just boggles my mind, you know, that I'm, I keep getting subscribers. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of these guys that is up here daily or weekly putting content out you know that i just i put something up if i've got something to show or say and that's about the only time you know i could i would do reviews but there are so many people out there that are doing reviews that you know that i just there's really no need for me i just don't have that much desire to sit down and do it. I've got a few things that I do want to do along those lines. I've got some comparisons that I want to do. But, yeah. I figured put one up every month or every other month. <laughs> Maybe it's not too bad. So, and I have kind of slowed down on my whole purchasing everything that crosses my path. I did stumble onto some stuff last week. I got a uh, well, Stumbled onto a tin of Kingfisher, which I, I was going to buy it for the tin. It, it's still full. The seal had cracked on it, so it's bone dry, but it's still full, and I got a, a Kingfisher tin, and I didn't have to really overpay for it. So that, that I, I stumbled across it at a local shop. Just happened to be sitting there. And I, I know where it came from. It was one of the owners, or the owner. It was something out of his personal collection that he just, he brought in and decided to sell it. I just happened to be there at the right time. So, you know, it, uh, I've said it before, and I've told people, you know, on Instagram and that, man, and if, if you're fortunate enough to be close to a brick and mortar, it pays sometimes to be in there fairly frequently or, you know, so at least be a, maybe every other week or something, you know, be in there and, and just be watching because that's how I find things like this. It's just because I go through there. I just stop by. I may not even buy anything. I may just stop in and talk to the guys that are working there for a while. And, you know, that's because I was there. I stumbled onto that. So. And I know not all of us are fortunate enough to be close to a, a shop like that. So I happen to be one of the lucky ones. <laughs> but anyway, John, uh, Mr. Laughlin, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate all of this stuff. And I will get your package on the way. I have uh, come up with a surprise or two to throw in there for you, too. So <laughs> it's just how things work in this group. So didn't have much more than that I'm sure I've, you know I've been watching videos and I, I tend to watch stuff I'll, I'll click on play while I'm driving don't necessarily watch but I hear the video and then so I don't necessarily get to comment all the time but I am still watching quite a bit of stuff and enjoying everybody's content finding new people you know somebody subscribes to me I'll check them out and subscribe back and so it's always changing but I guess until I find something else exciting or new to say, <laughs> remember, life's short. Stop and smell the smoke.